Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be swapping out my 7440A incandescent blinker bulbs and I'm going to be upgrading them to LEDs. These LEDs I got from Dow Dynamics and these are the 310 lumen edition. They're plug and play so you're not going to have to do anything strange with your sockets and they also come with a three-year warranty which is nice. Today's video I'm only going to be doing the rear lights. I figured it was the best way to break it up instead of making you watch one long video. Um, at the end of the video, you'll also see a link for the front lights. And there is also going to be a link for how to change your flasher relay, which you will have to do if you're switching to LED lights. So let's get the camera moved and start swapping some bulbs. All right, so as always, to remove your lens cover here, we're gonna take out the two bolts here and I'm gonna be using a 10 millimeter socket. There is also a Phillips head center in there, but if this is the first time you're taking these off, I'd suggest using a socket. Put your bolts where you're gonna find them, you're not gonna lose them. Now when I take these off, I usually lick my hand. Put your hands on your lens and just give a little push back. I'm gonna be taking this connector off just because it's easier to work with the light. But you gotta depress on the lock right here. show you what we're going to be doing here. Now here's the one for the blinker that we're going to be taking out. See the two little tabs on here? Thumb and forefinger. Turn it counterclockwise. Pull it out. And this is the 7440A bulb that you'll be replacing. Alright, so I'm going to be using some of this Mission Automotive silicon paste to protect the contacts on this bulb need to put a whole bunch on there just a little bit I'm taking just paint the contacts now when I put this ball back in push in until you feel it click it only goes in the hole one way place it in the hole grab the two tabs and turn clockwise to lock it back into place. Now when we're putting this back on, see this little slide right up here? The two pins, we're gonna wanna make sure that we get this slide on there. We wanna get both pins locked in there too. We reconnect this, push back into you feel it click. I'm just gonna lay this up here right now and I'm gonna see if the blinker works. The blinker works. Okay, so when we're putting this back on, we'll look down here in the gap, and we'll make sure that I'm getting my pins lined up. Plus you wanna feel this front you can feel when you're on that slide. You'll know when you're not on it. So I just wiggle it up and down a little bit, feel where I am. Look down, make sure I have my pins in place. And push it forward. That's all there is to it. Get your bolts back in. Said you don't have to put them on super tight so you're not going like this and cranking on them. I'm just doing it like that really quick. Check your light, make sure it's all secure. It's secure. If you're gonna be doing the other side, it's the same procedure and it's not gonna take that long to do. And there you have it. It's that simple of a job to do. Anybody can do it. Don't be afraid to work on your own car. Take care, buddy, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.